Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this video, I will talk about organic chemistry. In organic chemistry, all chapters and concepts are interconnected. If you are thinking about skipping any chapter or neglecting any chapters, please leave this video now itself. In this video, I will tell you all about how to score more in organic chemistry by focusing more on concepts and approaching the problems in a better way. First, I will talk about overall concepts in organic chemistry and then if I have any particular remarks for a particular chapter, I will do that in later part of this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and watch this video till the end so you won't miss any of the important details. Organic chemistry is full of reactions, mechanisms of organic compounds and obviously exceptions. For all the reactions, you have to know the proper conditions and the reagent used in that reaction. For example, for conversion of primary aromatic amines to diazonium salts, the reaction is diazotization reaction is done at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius by using nitrous acid as a reagent. Just like this example, you have to know each and every condition and the reagent used in a particular reaction. Focus more on named reactions like Etard reaction, Rosemond reduction, Stephens reaction, etc. There are many named reactions, so you have to be thorough with each and every one of them. And even named reagents like Grignard reagent or Bayer's reagent, etc. You have to be thorough with each and every one of them. Most of the time, questions about reaction comes from either named reactions or named reagents. So focus more here. Understand and focus more on reaction mechanism, SN1, SN2, SNAR mechanism, etc. You have to know which condition favors a particular mechanism. For example, use of a particular nucleophile like strong anionic nucleophile favors SN2 reaction. Whereas weak neutral nucleophile favors SN1 reaction. You have to know different conditions which affects a particular mechanism and the product form. You have to know about the stability of the product form or the variation of rate of reaction by using different substrate and solvents. Focus on variation of properties or effects like variation of acidic strength, basic strength, reactivity of the substrate or stability of the product form. There can be question about these all concepts. And for physical properties like boiling point, melting point, solubility, you have to understand the concepts for boiling point increase in molecular mass increases boiling point or ability to form hydrogen bonds increases boiling point. You have to know the basic concept of this so if a question comes from this concept, you can easily solve these problems. Just be thorough with the NCRT for organic chemistry. 90% of the organic chemistry question comes from NCRT directly. Have an idea about the exception in organic chemistry. The common and basic concept is not valid for this exception. For example, for the basicity of amines, that is primary, secondary and tertiary amines, you cannot apply a basic concept. The basicity of amine is decided by a number of factors rather than a one particular factor. So please focus on exception and know about them. Now let's move on to particular chapter. So the first chapter which is very important in organic chemistry is some basic principle and techniques in organic chemistry. This is a one of the important chapter which forms you the base of organic chemistry. If you are very thorough with this chapter, you can easily understand other chapters. The concept here is IUPAC nomenclature. You have to be thorough with the naming of organic compounds. Next concept to focus on is isomerism. In structural isomerism, you have to know different isomerism that is positional isomerism, functional isomerism, etc. And coming to optical isomerism, here you have to be thorough with how to find whether a compound is optically active or not. That is based on chirality of carbon atom and 
plane of symmetry if a compound has plane of symmetry note that there is a difference between d and l isomerism and dextro levorotatory isomers please note this don't get confused with these two in this isomerism concept there can be question about number of isomers or stability of the isomer or example for isomerism next concept is effects that is inductive effect electromeric effect resonance effect and hyperconjugation effect you have to be thorough with each and every one of these effect mostly focus on inductive effect resonance effect and hyperconjugation effect all these effects are important while answering a question about stability strength of a compound concept is purification of organic compounds that is sublimation method distillation and chromatography no different purification method you have to note a example for each method next one is qualitative analysis there can be question regarding which method do you use to find out if a particular element is there and last concept in this chapter is quantitative analysis focus here as this is the only place where they can ask calculation based question all this concept will be helpful in upcoming chapters that is hydrocarbon haloalkenes and haloarenes alcohol phenol and ethers aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid and amines in all these chapter you have to know about nomenclature and isomerism physical properties chemical properties and the method used for the preparation of the compounds question will be asked from all these concepts next chapter is biomolecules you can interlink this biomolecule in chemistry with biomolecules chapter in biology so that you can understand better but there are few reactions in the chemistry chapter so focus on the reactions and some important topics here is you have to know about zwitter ion isoelectric point denaturation of proteins and structures of proteins there can be question from these concept for polymers chapter it's better if you make a column like this that is polymers and monomer you have to note polymer and the monomer of it if you do this you can easily revise whole chapter of polymer within 10 minutes so please do it you can either take the screenshot of this or you can make this on your own and next chapter is chemistry in our everyday life this is a bit difficult in the sense of memorizing you have to be thorough with the example and different types of drugs that is antihistamines antacids antimicrobials tranquilizers analgesics etc you have to know each one of them and their examples and the last chapter in organic chemistry is environmental chemistry you can interconnect this chapter with environmental issues chapter in biology so that you can save time and understand it even better as i have mentioned in my previous video don't neglect any chapter whether it is difficult for you or easy for you you don't know what may happen in examination so at least try to understand the basic concept in chapter which may seem difficult for you thank you for more updates subscribe to this channel and share it as much as you can so that it may reach the students who are in need for this video